Welcome to this video. My name is Rajvir Singh and in this video I'm going to talk about Learn Siemens Fields in HY Advanced Course. Now before launching this course there was an earlier course which was Learn Siemens Fields starting from scratch. In that course I've talked about the basic PLC fundamentals in HMI and some interfacing with PLC in HMI. Now in this course I have introduced some new topics. So let's see what are these topics. So particularly I will be uh, explaining about some advanced commands of Siemens PLC and some interfacing of Siemens PLC with IOLink Master and also with the HMI. So let's see what you will get in this course. There are some advanced instructions in PLC in HMI with some application examples. And then I have interfacing PLC with IOLink Master. Now IOLink Master is a new topic which I have introduced in this course. So with IOLink Master I am interfacing RFID and I am interfacing Smart Light or Signal Light as well. And then you will have some downloadable resources and all the free future updates. So these are three main key uh, key points which we will get in this course. So let's see some brief content. So starting with encoder interfacing with PLC. So in this uh, section we have an encoder and I'm going to interface that with the PLC. So you will see how to interface your encoder, how to read the pulses from the encoder using high speed counter. So this is the main uh, topic of this section. And then we have a section which says interfacing smart light with S7-1200 IOLink Master. Now we are using IOLink Master in which we are using a special protocol by which you can control your smart light. So you have a smart light here and we are interfacing that with the Siemens PLC and you can also control the smart light from your HMI via various operation modes. So you have different colors which indicates different meaning. So how to control this color, how to control the frequency, how to control the blinking of these uh, uh, blinking frequency of these colors you will also learn in this section. <coughs> so not only that, with the IOLink master, we are also interfacing RFID. So in the RFID, you will see on my table, I have some RFID module <coughs> and some RFID tags. So using RFID tags, we will identify the type of the object. And based on that, we can have an action. So this can be used widely. These days we are using, uh, in Desi 4.0, we are using RFID tags in our palettes or, or in our objects. So to track the object or the palette within the process, we use RFIDs. So this is a very interesting topic. So if you understand uh, the importance of RFID, you know that to interface with the PLC is again uh, challenging, but how it can be easily resolved using IOLink Master and IOLink technology, this is what we are going to learn in this video. So this was about interfacing RFID with S7-1200 via IOLink Master. And then we have PLC to PLC communication by a put get instruction. <coughs> So this was a request by one of the students that he wants to learn how to interface two PLCs together. So I have here Siemens PLC S7-1200, two uh, PLC models, and I'm using put get instruction to interface these two PLCs so they can exchange data between each other. So this is quite helpful if you are in an assembly line and you have various PLC and you want to control some specific event from one PLC or to get the data from the other PLC. So this is very important in that case. And another section we have on HMI scripts. Now HMI scripts we use sometimes we want to program something within the HMI or you want to animate something. So in this example you will see here we have a small uh, a box which is being simulated on the conveyor. So this is a kind of simulation you can achieve in the HMI using scripts. So this is one of the example how you will learn that. And after that we have Siemens web server. And now, you know that we have a web server inside a Siemens S7-1200, also in 1500. And how to access the web server, how to make use of this web server. In this, you will also learn how to make HTML pages and how to display PLC tags on the HTML pages. One way is to make it static and one way is to make it dynamic. So this is quite interesting for somebody who wants a web display on their screen, on their TV, or could be tablet if they have wireless router. So that can also be used. So these are the various key topics, various key sections where you will learn different topics. Now, but this is not the end. You have about 50 plus high quality PLC lectures and you have some quiz for self-evaluation and there are some tips within the course as well. And then you will get some technical support and free future updates. And uh, in my next update, I will be uh, doing some more interesting videos which I will be adding in this course and that will be free of cost. So this was about the brief course content and before you proceed I would like to mention that in this case you should know the following. You should know basic PLC programming because I'm not starting from the scratch in this course. I'm starting from a little bit advanced. So you should know the basic PLC programming in TI portal. You should know the fundamentals, fundamentals of PLC wiring and how to download and upload the code. 
you should know the basic instructions about the PLC and how to communicate PLC and HMI together and also a little bit about screen designing. So you should know these things before but don't worry if you don't know that I have a course of uh, Salon Siemens PLC starting from scratch. You can do this course because this advanced course is the extension of my old course. So this is also recommended. Otherwise, if you already know that, that's perfect. <laughs> now we'll see who should join this course. If you are an engineering student or a mechatronic student or learning robotics, electrical or electronics, and if you have the subject of PLC or if you feel the need of learning something new, then you can join this course. Besides, if you are an engineer or self-employed, or if you have a hobby to learn new technologies coming up in the market, you can also join this course. I'm sure you will get benefit about this. So this was about the brief about this course. If you want to learn more, what is the content? You can check the, some preview videos within the course dashboard. You can see some preview videos of the lectures that will help you to understand how I'm delivering the lecture, how I'm using the hardware, what are the quality of the video and quality of the audio that you can check for sure. So thank you for watching and you can enjoy the coding. If you have any, con uh, if you want to contact me, you can contact me on my email ID or on the website. So this was all about Learn PLC Advanced S7-1200.